In this lecture, I will cover frequency analysis for a single degree of freedom system. Single degree of freedom systems have applications in various structures and one of the typical structure is wind turbine. And here I'm going to model a structure which is similar to wind turbine and same principles can be applied to model these structures. This is the problem which I'm going to solve today and I'm going to model this using lumped mass approach. We want to find out angular frequency and frequency of the system and time period using Abacus and I will compare the results with analytical solution. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London University. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. The length of the member is four meter, radius is 0.0786, Material is steel, modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal, density is given, Poisson's ratio is given, and EI is known. Load applied is 20 kilonewton. This is really very important. We'll work out mass from this load. Key thing to remember here is units. I'm going to use SI units to model this problem where length is in meters, force is in newtons, mass is in kgs, time in seconds, and density in kg per meter cube. Let For modeling the problem, I will be using these nine steps. First step is part where we will create geometry. Let's first of all see how we can find out the frequencies using Abacus. Start with Abacus standard, go to parts, I will call it as columns. I'm going to model this using wire. Approximate size of the element is because the length of the model is four meters. So 10 would be appropriate size. Click continue. Start with line element. Click here, click here. A column has been drawn. Then next information is dimension. Click on dimension. Dimension is four meters. Click done. A member has been drawn. The second step is property module where we will define materials and assign cross sections. The next module is property module. Go to material, elastic, generic. Here, 200 e raised 9, 200 gigapascals is Young's modulus. Poison ratio is 0 0.3. And I will define density as well. Density is 7850 kg per meter cube. Remember the units. There is no unit in Abacus and you have to be consistent in units. Click done. Material has been defined. The next thing is to create the section. So I will choose beam section. Click continue. Here, poison ratio is 0 0.3. Material was a steel. And I will create a section over here. I will say circular. Click done. Radius is 0 0.0786. Click OK. Click OK. I will now assign this section to the member. Click on part. Click on section assignment. Click on member. Click done. Section has been assigned. The most important thing here, I want to assign the direction of longitudinal axis. For this, go to assign beam section orientation, click here and done. The orientation of tangent is fine and click OK to confirm. The material orientation has been defined. Third step is assembly module where we will assemble all parts. Next, I will assemble the models. Go to assembly, click here, instances, click done. Model has been assembled. Fourth step is step module where we define all analysis steps and parameters. Next is step, go to step. I want to define here frequency step. I will call it as freak. Go to linear perturbation and frequency. Click continue. I will use all default parameters and I'm interested in five eigen modes and five frequencies. Click OK. The fifth is interaction module where we define contact interactions and constraints. The next step is interaction. Go to inertia or from here I can go to inertia create and I want to create point mass. Click OK. Here I would like to find out the value of mass. As load is given in kilonewtons, I need to convert this load into mass. So W is equal to mass times G. From here mass is equal to W over G. W is equal to 20 kilonewton, 20 into 10 raised 3, divided by G is acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meter per second square, so 9.81. This will give me 2038.7. The unit is newton second square per meter. This can be termed as kg as well. So if I go back, I will choose this point. 
I will define isotropic material 2038.7. If you want, you can define n isotropic properties as well. In that way, the mass will be in different direction. But here, I want the mass in one direction only. Click OK, mass has been defined. Sixth is load module, where we define boundary conditions and loading. The next step is load here. I don't have any load, but I want to define the boundary conditions. So click on boundary conditions, say fix displacement rotation, click the bottom point, click OK, and fix everything. So it's a fixed free boundary condition. Once this is fixed, seventh is mesh module, where we define mesh size and element type. Next step is mesh. And I want to mesh at part level. Go to mesh, element type, click on element. And I'm using here quadratic element so that my results are fine because I'm going to use a mesh which is not that much fine. And click on seed part. I will use approximate size of 0.2. Click OK and mesh the part. Eighth is job module which we use to run and monitor analysis. The next step is to define a job. Here I will define, I will say rec. Click OK, click all right. Once job has been defined, then I will set up the working directory and I will save the model as well. And then I will submit the job and click on monitor. Here we will get very useful information before we go away and have a look at the results. A clean solution. And finally, ninth is visualization module used for viewing results. If you open data file here, you will see that total mass of the model is 2648, which is not the case. In our case, we applied a lamp mass of 2038 kgs. What it has done is that when we define density, it has taken into account the effect on a column as well. In lamp mass approach, we assume that mass is lumped at a point and for a column, it is defined by its stiffness. So we have to find a way to, to make this mass of the model equal to the lump mass. What we want to do here is we want to minimize the effects of density. In this case, Abacus will take the density and it will apply density to all the elements. Here we are assuming that mass is lumped at a point. For all other elements, we have a stiffness. I will change the density to really very minimum density so that there aren't any effects. So I will say 7850 E minus 3. In that way, a density of the material is reduced. So it will not have much effect on the model. Click OK and then submit. Click on monitor. Now this data file is giving us really very useful information. And that information is it's telling us the mass of the model which is 2039, which is not bad. Our mass was 2038.7, which is really very close. And here it will give us the frequencies, omega radians per second, 11.7. And it is giving me frequency as 1.87 in the first mode, in the second mode as well. So these modes are important. Now you can see that where the effective mass is being distributed. Here in the first mode, you can see the mass is contributing in the Z direction and in second mode, mass is contributing in X direction and third mode, mass is contributing in Y direction. Let us see what we can get from the analytical solution. Firstly, we need to find out the stiffness of single degree of freedom using this formula. So if you have a cantilever beam, it's like a vertical beam fixed and fixed at one end and load applied at other end, the stiffness of the system is 3 EI over L cube or 3 EI over H cube. So from here we compute a stiffness EI is given to us which is 6 into 10 raised 6. 3 comes from the formula and 4 is the height of the column. This is 4. It will give us value of the stiffness. Once we have a stiffness we can use this formula omega is equal to k over m where k is a stiffness m is mass Mass we worked out a little earlier and K we just worked out here. If we put these values, we get omega as 11.75 radians per second. And the time period is 2 pi over omega. These are very simple properties. You can find them in any structural dynamics books. And time period is 2 pi over omega, which comes out to be 0.535. Frequency, 
in hertz or cycles per second is 1 over t. So t is 11.75. It is giving me 1.87. These values are not far off from what we obtained from Abacus. Here, the angular frequency is 11.7, which is exactly the same as 11.75. And the frequency is 1.87 in cycles per second, which is exactly similar to what we get from analytical solution. This means that values obtained from numerical model closely match with the analytical solution. Now I can have a look at the results. And in results, you're going to see the same thing. For first mode, you have mode shape and you have its frequency here. And if you click here, frequency in cycles per second is given. And if you want it, you can render this profile and have a look at different frequencies. In that way, you can find out the frequency of the system using Abacus.